Welcome to your Uncle Joe's Garage, presented by California Car Cover. Very special guest in the garage today, Robbie Krieger of The Doors and Scott Medlock of the Art World. Isn't that how we put that? I guess, yeah, you could say that. The Welcome, sports world. The sports world. I like that a lot. Welcome to the garage. Did you ever practice in a garage? I have, yes, many times. As clean as this one? No, not as clean as this one. <laughs> that was but, uh, part of the magic of the entire thing. You guys are doing the Invitational for St. Jude's. Let's start right out with that. Uh, Scott and Robbie, where did, first off, where did you meet? Well, how did this come together? How did you start doing golfing things? Oh, uh, uh, at I'll Riviera, right? Too. Yeah, my dad was a member of Riviera Country Club, uh -huh. so that's where I grew up playing golf. And uh, Scott would come out to when they had the LA Open there and, and paint the uh, winner. He's a painter, mm -hmm. actually. So he would paint whoever won the tournament. And that's where we met, right? Yeah, About yeah, we met 25 through years golf. ago. Yeah, 25 years ago. But having a, a golfing with a guitarist, as you're getting ready to hit, is he back there going, oh, come on, baby, light my fire? Is he doing <laughs> that kind of stuff to distract you? Give me a D seventh minor. Come on, he's done that now, hasn't he? No, but you know, it's good to have a song running in your head when you're golfing if it's the right rhythm. You know, if you get something too fast, love me two times, then it's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the golf tournament and the concert? What do you got going on? This is uh, October 5th that's going to happen. Right. Yeah. You already knew that, didn't you? October 5th, and uh, it's our eighth annual. And it's kind of, you know, we started this off for Pat Tillman, who's oh. a friend, when he passed away. Uh -huh. and. Uh, we never imagined, you know, we never imagined it would grow to what it has been, and uh, and then we did that for a few years, and then we switched to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which uh, Robbie and I are both passionate about. So we've been raising millions of dollars. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and it's fun. We basically just invite a bunch of our buddies out, our musician buddies, actor buddies, athletes, golfers. We have a big yeah. golf tournament during the day, and then at night we have the uh, concert. Yeah. And, and some uh, big names in the concert. Yeah, uh, we're not supposed to say, but... I okay, guess I won't mention Orianthe and Ricky Sample. For God's sake, don't let Jack Black get in a golf cart. I've seen that. Um, uh, Berlin also is... Uh, Terry playing. Nunn. Terry Nunn. Uh, and the whole band, Berlin, is going to uh, play. Yeah. Paul Barrera and Kenny Gradney from Little Feet. Right. Well, we got some ace musicians coming Hell up. Oh yes, man. It's going to be cool. And uh, Danny Serafine, or Serafini yeah. as we call him back in the neighborhood. So you yeah. have a rhythm that... I just happened, those names just came to me. That's how it worked <laughs> out. But it's Monday the 5th, and it's called the Robbie Krieger Scott Medlock Invitational for St. Jude's. That's it, yeah. Now, you're both Southern California guys. We're in the garage. One of the things we do here, can you remember your first car, or uh, maybe your favorite? I remember my first car was a VW Bug. Oh, yeah. Me too. Blue. <laughs> was it blue? Mine was a 68 Bug. No, it was beige. And it was Sweet. a speed shift. It didn't have a clutch, oh, God. which was wild, you know? So I kept going, there's no clutch, and this isn't a real car. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into a bug? Uh, my dad. My dad was a mechanic. <laughs> he was skinnier back then. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, I got that. Yeah, I like that. I didn't know what you meant. And you started with a bug as well? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. But that's, no, let's stop for a moment here. $600. Okay, well, the price is right. You mm. can't carry a guitar and an amplifier in a Volkswagen bug. No, that was before I was, uh, you know, I was playing gigs. But we graduated to a bus, a VW bus. As long as there weren't hills, perfect way to get around <laughs> from place to place. Yeah, we did, but, you know, when you have Jim Morrison driving that bus, that was pretty oh, crazy. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, wrote almost every Doors song, you played on every Doors song? I, I wrote the best ones, let me put it that way. Not the best ones, but the best selling ones. What was your, as you look back at it now, what was your favorite? Oh, God, you know, if I didn't say Light My Fire, I'd be <laughs> lying, wrong, yeah. you know, but, uh, and, and that was the first one I wrote, the very first song I wrote for the Doors was Light My Fire, and then it was downhill ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Like we were saying before, I know a band of 16-year-olds are playing the Changeling. Does yeah, that, how does that make you feel? That's, that's something? great because, uh, you know, the Changeling is like kind of a, a hidden cut uh, on the L.A. Woman album that nobody really plays on the radio, but to hear that your kid plays the guitar part on that is amazing. And that was one of the first songs you recorded for L.A. Woman in the rehearsal space, wasn't it? That's true. That's true. Scotty, what's that your... That was kind of a garage, by the way. It was a garage? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
But there was an Italian restaurant that, that would... Well, now there is, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, what's your favorite door song? Oh, man, I have so many. I, I think uh, the one I love the most is is Wishful Sinful. Mm -hmm. It's just an amazing song, and, and uh, you know, there's so many great ones that it, it kind of gets pushed aside a little bit, but... Uh, I wrote that Oh, you did? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, do you play, uh, you have a regular band that backs you when you go out and do these things, or do you uh, play with other musicians and then just to test them, say, how about Maggie McGill, do you do that kind of thing? Uh, you know, I have a couple of different bands that I go out with, um, but uh, this uh, for this thing, you know, we got so many musicians that want to yeah. play, it's yeah. crazy. So we, But we do have Phil Chin and, and Ty Dennis, our bass and drummer, that played with Ray and I for years. So. And they're, so there's kind of the nucleus of the, of the rhythm section. Bill Chen's a real powerhouse. Too. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. great. What do you miss the most about Ray? Oh, God, just uh, his voice. You know, mm -hmm. that guy could talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, he had that, you know, he could have been a radio announcer, really. He, he, he had, had a gift for... Gift of gab. Yes. Yes, he did. But, uh, you know, he was uh, the most unusual person I ever met. Uh, even Jim, I don't think, uh, ran a close second to Ray. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he was just so positive. Uh, you know, okay. every, you know he, he would work with all these different people on different projects, and, you know, he would never say no to anybody, and, which got him in trouble a lot. <laughs> did his passing, did Ray Manzarek's passing have anything how did that reflect with your relationship with uh, John Densmore? I think it, it made it better. Yeah, definitely. You know, because we realized, hey, there's, we're the only two left now, so we better start getting along <laughs> a little better. If you could perform with anybody, any musician, I'm going to try to get John to come out. By the way, to the St. Jude's, you know. So maybe. That'd be so cool. <laughs> maybe if you called him and said, "Hey, John." Okay, <laughs> that's it. I got to make a phone call. So. If you could work with any musician that you haven't so far, well, if maybe you have as well, anybody, live or dead, Ray Charles, anybody. Oh, well, I, you know, I've played some gigs with Jimi Hendrix, but never got to really jam with him, you know, so that was... We should invite him out for the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a call. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Krieger, Scott Medlock, Invitational for St. Jude's, Monday, October 5th, and people are welcome. Well, Absolutely. As long as they're humans, I suppose they're welcome. What does it cost to get into the show? Well, we do a, um, so before the concert, we have what we call the 19th Hole Party, and it's all of our favorite restaurants. And uh, oh. so we have that, and then we have, you know, our, our uh, liquor sponsors, and then it kind of goes right into our concert. So those tickets are available online. Um, you can get those, and uh, also... If you want to play, there's I think there's a couple spots in the golf tournament left, and uh, you a golfer. I've done many things in a golf course, but none of them yeah. involve uh, golf. So <laughs> <laughs> remember, I was the road manager, so that was different. Uh, um, excellent, you had me at restaurant. Thank you, Robbie Krieger and Scotty Medlock. Thank you both for being in the garage. Yeah, You're welcome back anytime. Yeah, good to see you, John. And I'll see you yeah. at the 19th hole. Great. That's perfect. I love it. Don't see you it. there. People are strange when you're a stranger. People look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are even when you're down, when you're strange. Remember your name when you're strange. Places come out of the rain when you're strange. When you're strange. When you're strange. When you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're.
Hey, I know that you, yes you, haven't been in the Uncle Joe's garage yet, but I got some good news. We have created a mobile version of the Uncle Joe's garage, thanks to our friends at Mike Thompson RV Superstores. Like they say, don't miss a moment, and don't miss the mobile Uncle Joe's garage coming to location near you.